Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday. Today I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me kind of middle school advice kind of thing. Cause I'm gonna be telling you some middle school advice while doing my makeup. Um, and yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to come back every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday because those are the days that I upload my videos. And yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, so pretty much, I just got out of middle school. My middle school was only seventh and eighth grade and I just got out of it. So now it's time for high school, which I'm gonna be going into the ninth grade next year, Freshman Academy, um, which isn't exactly high school. We have, we have the Freshman Academy, which is just a school for freshmen. And then we have a high school, which is sophomores, juniors, and seniors and yeah, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but that's all right. Anyways, um, pretty much, I'm gonna be sharing some of my middle school advice with you. And yeah, so let's, let's get into the first advice now. Okay, so my first advice would be, don't get into drama. And I know that it could be tempting. I know it's interesting and it's entertaining, I know. Um, but honestly, it'll benefit you if you just don't get into it because when I was in middle school, I was in so much drama, and honestly, it it was fun at the time, but now looking back at it, it was literally so stupid, and I don't know why I got myself into all of those bad situations, and um, yeah, I don't know, just don't, don't do drama just for fun, people, like, I get it, if you get dragged into drama or, like, something like that, I get it, that's a whole different situation, but don't just, like, don't look for drama that you can be a part of try to stay away from it as much as possible and yeah okay so my second piece of advice is do not fight people i know in middle school it's like a thing like oh my gosh i'm gonna fight her like that's really not gonna solve anything that's gonna make things worse for you and the other person because first of all you guys are definitely going to get in trouble for fighting and second of all fighting each other is just gonna make you hate each other more it's not gonna like solve all of your issues with that person um, so, honestly, I would just recommend talking. Don't text a person because then it's, like, texting and talking are two whole different things. Especially when you have a problem with the person that you're texting. Because the person that you are texting can just ignore you whenever you're, um, texting them. But, like, if you talk to them in person, they can't really ignore you. I mean, they can try, but, um, yeah, you just... Just talk to them in person it'll be easier and it'll solve more of your issues so yeah don't fight people don't be disrespectful to the teachers i get it you're growing up you're going through puberty and stuff and like you're having a whole bunch of these hormones that you can't help but don't take that out on your teachers i mean they didn't do anything they're there to help you they're there for their job i mean they're not there to be like tormented by children so just give them a break okay like they're just there doing their job, trying to support their family and stuff, and you guys are literally on top of them. Like, uh, it's so annoying. But, yeah, don't take out your anger on your teachers. Just leave them alone. Gosh. Don't be a loner. Like, okay, I know that sounds so mean, but, like, what I mean by that is don't, don't purposely not have friends. Like, if, I don't know, this is hard to say. Like, if you're, like, really antisocial and you like purposely are like oh I don't want to talk to them because I don't want friends like I want to sit by myself you know because I don't want friends like don't do that because you are going through a very very hard time in your life in middle school you're going through puberty you're going through hormones like I said you're, you're going through a bunch of stuff in middle school and you need good friends there to support you so try to make as many friends as possible don't distance yourself from people just because you don't want to like be friends with people i don't know but yeah try to find friends try to make friends it'll be fun so yeah okay the next one is don't take middle school relationships too seriously please oh my gosh it's so annoying whenever some middle schoolers start dating and then they're like oh my god we're gonna get married we're gonna have a happy life and like no, you're not. Like, you literally, like, you might. I don't know. Like, I can't tell your future. But, like, you're in middle school. Like, come 
down, sis. You haven't even graduated high school yet. Just know that middle school relationships don't always work out. They rarely work out, honestly. And yeah, just know that. Just just let that be in the back of your head. Don't take things too seriously. I mean, live your life and stuff and have fun, but that's what it is. It's it's fun. It's a relationship with somebody that you like and it's not going to be the end of the world if it turns out to not be a good relationship. So, yeah, just just know that. Do extracurricular activities. Don't just like do your work and get what you need to get done and all that do extracurriculars because first of all they're really really fun if you join the if you join ones that you're interested in and also they will really benefit you um uh, in many ways like i know a lot of my extracurricular teachers um really helped me with my personal life and with my grades sometimes and i don't know it was just really fun to hang out with them and also you meet a lot of new people and um, if you do extracurriculars, it looks really, 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 really good on your college ac uh, application. So just keep that in mind because, you know, you're growing up. You need to put college in your mind and start to burst your bubble, but you're not going to be a kid forever. So, yeah. Do your work. Like, like, don't be like, oh, my God, it's so cool if I just, like, don't do my work. And, like, that's just so cool. Like, no, it's, it's really not. It's really just annoying uh, for the teachers, for the, your classmates, and for you. I mean, like, in the future, you're definitely going to regret not doing your work if you don't do it. So, like, just do it. Just, like, get it over and done with. Like, it's not even that hard. It's middle school work. It's not hard. I know it seems hard, but, like, it's not. So, just do it. Just do it. Like, <sighs> enjoy every last moment don't dwell on the little things guys because middle school is kind of i wouldn't say it's the last chance to be a kid because you are still a kid when you're in high school but in high school things get really really tough and you have to start thinking about the future so middle school is kind of your last opportunity to just worry about worry about the present and i don't know just don't take it for granted you know do everything you can and have fun and like I said don't dwell on the little things don't make things more dramatic than they need to be and last but not least do not let the haters get to you I know for a fact that you are going to have some enemies in middle school everybody does and it's completely normal but don't let them get to you because when they see you mad or sad or upset about something they said or did or whatever um it's literally just making them think that they won. And, you know, you don't want them to think that they won. So be strong. Don't don't let it get to you. Um, ignore them. Ignore them. Kill them with kindness. You have got this. And, yeah. <laughs> Wait, okay, that was not the last advice. I actually have one more. Um, just know that you are beautiful and you are amazing and you are special and you are smart. And you are... You're a great person. Just know that because in middle school, things get twisted a lot and people will say things about you and you'll, your mind sometimes goes to a dark place and you start feeling bad about yourself. You start comparing yourself to other people and it's really, really sad, but I just, I want you to know that you are beautiful. I, no matter, you are beautiful. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't care who you are comparing yourself to. You are beautiful in your own way. And I know everybody says that and nobody believes it, but like, I'm serious right now. Like, I really want you to know that you are actually a beautiful person inside and out. And I'm gonna start crying. Is that weird? I'm being really, I'm, I'm really emotional right now. Anyways, so pretty much, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're awesome. So keep doing what you do and don't let other people change you. All right, so I'm not, like, done with my makeup or whatever, but I am done with this video, and um, I wanted to say thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you take some of my advice. If you're going into middle school, I hope that you take some of my, my advice with you. And, yeah, um, I don't know. I uh, hope you like this. So if you did, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, come back every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, because that is the days that I upload videos. And... Yeah, 
Alright. Bye guys.